Andy here, and we got a brand new OBS plugin from obviously Exceldro. Exceldro has been busy at it. Well, well, I'm a little bit bit miffed. I'm gonna I'm gonna say it right now. He's in chat because we were recording this live at Twitch.tv forward slash Andy Lippy. Come and visit. We're trying to get partner. That'd be awesome. Thank you. Love you. Uh, so I'm a little bit miffed because like he, he just stole my idea, didn't he? Do you know what I mean? He just completely ripped it and just made it a thousand times better. Like, holy moly, this plugin is incredible if you're like me and you record a lot of stuff when you're live and everything like that. This is the... I need to actually get it up. I put it on the wrong monitor because I'm an idiot. This is the record rename plugin. Uh, and it does what it says on the tin. It renames your recording after you've recorded it. Does it, right, that's it, cool, end of video, sorted. No, there's a lot of cool features in this that will allow you to kind of choose how you want the, certain things to, to record. So the one that I made a while back was in uh, StreamerBot. So when I was recording live questions, I do live Q&As at twitch.tv for slash Andy Lippy, uh, and basically people could re rename the recording after I recorded it. A moderator could use a chat command and it'll rename the recording on my computer, as well as a UI would pop up in the middle of the screen and say, do you want to rename it? But Exceldra has done it as an OBS plugin, and it's so smooth because obviously everything he makes is amazing. Uh, you can download it straight from here. Uh, I'll leave all the links in the description and everything, so don't worry. It's available for Windows, Mac, Linux, you know, all the usuals. If you don't know how to install a plugin by now, then go check out one of my other videos because I've got a thousand videos and a lot of them cover that stuff. So just check it and make sure you are subscribed because, yeah, let's let's get some subscribers. I get about 100 subscribers a month. If I want more, please. Thank you. Yeah, a uh, hundred. And that's not like paid subscribers. That's YouTube subscribers. Do you know what I mean, man? And like 90% of them are bots. And, right, I'm getting off on a tangent, but this has so many features. So... Even if you're using like the split file, you know how we're in the later versions of OBS, now we can split recordings. We can actually rename each of them recordings as well. Um, automatic remuxing support. This is insane, right? So what this means is, you know, after you've recorded something in OBS, because when you are recording in OBS, you usually want to be recording in like, uh, an, where, 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 where am I looking? I've got, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. Where is it? Output. Here we go. Recording. So you probably want to be using something like, well, the hybrid MP4 is like usually the best option now, um, but obviously it's still beta. But recording in something like uh, MKV means that you won't lose the video. So if you're doing normal MP4, for instance, if if they can't be finalized, that recording would be lost. Whereas if you're recording in as an MKV, most editing software doesn't really like stuff like that. So you do a thing called remuxing, right? And what that is, is when you go to file and you go to remux recordings, this can just change the the, um, the thing to a MP4. So it's a more friendly format for... I used to have to do that if I was putting it onto my Mac and editing on my Mac and, and stuff like that. So you can automatically get it to do that. One thing to note about this plugin as well is I have added it to the stream up plugin checker. So if you guys are using my stream up plugin uh, it will check whether or not you need the update for that plugin as well and i've linked it all up obviously this is a free plugin that i keep maintaining with my database and everything like that so please consider leaving a donation these things take me a long time to, to kind of look after and i've also got memberships available as well now on my website at andylippy uk. everything's now in one place i've done an update video if you guys want to check it out i'll leave that linked in the description down below uh, but you'll get early access to my products, which I've got a lot of stuff coming out that I've been meaning to put out for probably the past year, two years uh, that I've been sat on. So I'm just uploading it all for you guys to enjoy, all right? So once you've got it installed, you'll go up to tools at the top here and you'll see record rename. And you've got, you can do it on normal recordings. You can use your replay buffer. So you guys that are getting your, your pog kill streaks and stuff like that, because I'm down with the kids. So I guess you guys still say that sort of stuff. Uh, rather than like obviously trying to record the whole thing, you can do the replay buffer to get a recording and you can name that as well, just straight off the bat. Um, the file name format, this is the bit that I was just showing you a second ago on the website 
where you can put stuff like percent title to get the last hooked program. So this is really cool if you've like got a game, for instance, that you're using. So uh, for instance, you've got uh, executable as well. So the name of the executable of the program. So say I was using uh, Streamerbot in full screen, it'll pull that name, Streamerbot. Uh, you've got year, you've, you've got all these different commands anyway, basically. Commands, is that the words? No, F uh, formatting, formatting. I mean, it literally says it just there. And it's as simple as that. So I'll just call this, um, oh my God, I didn't actually know this. I had an autocomplete. So as soon as you type in a percent sign, Excel has added a bunch of them in here. So if I add executable, right, so... Uncle Exceldro has just come in and like corrected me, which is all right. This is the beauty of doing these things live. You don't get to see all the mistakes. Um, there is, to do the executables and stuff like that, you need to actually add that source into OBS, which obviously makes sense. Otherwise, it's like just constantly tracking your PC like. Uh, so if I do a window capture, select window capture, I can go choose uh, anything I want here. So I'll just say, I don't know, Spotify, for instance. And we've got Spotify just chilling here. And I will press record. And now Spotify's on here. This could be a game capture or something like that, but I don't want to explode my PC. Press stop recording. And you can see it adds Spotify.exe instantly to it uh, because that's what we put in the formatting. Uh, so that's now saved that file as Spotify.exe. We also have all the other ones as well. So we can do like years, months, and have the, the time stamps in there exactly as you want. You've even got crazy stuff like the FPS. Uh, you can do the resolutions as well. So it's it's really customizable. If you guys are wanting anything else on there to, to be added, maybe send that feedback to Excel Joe. He might be able to add it in in a future patch or something like that. Obviously, if he doesn't know about features that you guys want, then they'll never get added. Uh, so make sure you do that. I also want to let you guys know that go a little bit further, there is the ability of a WebSocket command for this as well, which Exceldro sent. I will put it into the, uh, the um, what's it called, um, into the description, but it's just here. The, the vendor name is record-rename, and you can set the file name. So this means that you'll be able to add it into Streamerbot, for instance, uh, to send through the rename command um, for 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 the files. So if your moderator wants to rename a clip or something like that, then boom, that's it. They can do that, which is really cool. So if you guys want more features for that kind of stuff, just feed it back to Exceldro. Uh, it'll be able to help you. So I've just asked Exceldro if there is something that I've forgotten to, to mention in the video. Uh, he said, if the file exists, it will ask for a name again. So if I was to record this again, because we had the window capture, which was um, doing the Spotify, I'll press stop recording, and I try and save Spotify.exe because we already have it. It should tell us that, no, it's just saved it. <laughs> so it's because I the last one I put a space on because I'm an idiot. But yeah, it'll ask. It'll be like, oh, that name exists. No, that name exists. So then if I try and put a space at the end of it, it's going to be like, no, that name exists. No. And then now it saves. Cool. A nice little feature there so you don't overwrite your file. Uh, I didn't put that in my personal one, uh, which that's why I'm saying like Excel has like done a thousand times better on this one than I would. Well, I, it's good. Mine was per personal use. He's a professional coder. I'm not. But if you like the stuff that I make, then make sure you do uh, support me by joining members, uh, which in future videos, I will be adding to this screen at some point as I do the outro. So I will see you soon. All right. Put your rock to the stone. Much love. Get subscribed. Like the video. And I'll see you soon.